Hi, Angela Raspis, your guide to a wholehearted business in life, realigning you with your purpose and prosperity. Now, this week, I've had a bit of time off. I've been over in Bali at a fantastic event called the Awesomeness Fest. Really bizarre name. I know it sounds a little bit twee, but really there was no other way to describe this event. It was truly awesome. It's the first time that I've actually taken time out to invest in myself in such a way that I've traveled overseas and gone to a conference where the speakers and the lineup and the whole experience was so enticing that I had to make it happen. When I first found out about the event, I wasn't sure if I could go or should go, but I decided that um, to follow that, that feeling, to follow that, you know, you get that one in the pit of your belly that says, I don't know why I'm supposed to be there, but I've got to go. Well, I decided to follow that and I'm so glad that I did. The speaker lineup was incredible. Um, I write about some of this below this uh, video in the blog post. In particular, there was a woman called Lisa Nichols, who's a larger than life African American speaker who blew the room away. Now, Lisa's story of where she came from and where she got to when she realigned herself and really moved into purpose, decided to let go of all the shoulds and make a decision to be the best that she possibly could be, will just take your breath away. She was a single mum finding it really hard to even raise the, the money to feed her son as the father of her boy was just sentenced to 54 years in prison. But that day when that happened, Lisa told us the story that she made the decision that she was not going to stay where she was in her life and her business. She was going to move forward into that purpose that she absolutely believed she was put on this planet to do. Fast forward 13 years later, she shares the stage with people like Anthony Robbins and Jack Canfield. She's a best-selling author. She's been on The Secret, on Oprah Winfrey. Uh, she has a company called Motivating the Masses, which is about to go public with an estimated value of $40 million. You can understand why seeing this person in the flesh and listening to her story and hearing the way that she approached her business and life was so incredibly inspiring. And she was only the first speaker. The next three days were filled up to the brim with people like that, with different sorts of insights to share and skills to teach us that we wanted to bring back into our everyday life. But you know what happens when you've been to a conference or a seminar and then you come back to real life? Well, this time last week, I was sitting beside the pool in Bali with, very fortunately for me, my um, mastermind buddy. We were processing everything we'd been through and making our plans. This week, what am I back to? Lunch boxes, washing, homework, invoices, all that sort of stuff. A little bit difficult to maintain that feeling. But what I found is that there are some very specific steps that you can take that keep you in that place of inspiration and motivation so that you can make the most of the experience that you've had. And I'd like to share those with you today. So if you too go through this type of peak level experience, any conference, any event or otherwise that you've been to, you can maintain and pull that through to make a difference in your business and your life. So the very first step to take is acknowledgement. You need to be real to acknowledge that there is going to be a dip. Now you are going to come back from wherever you were and feel a bit like, Oh, the shoulders slump and you're not quite sure how you're going to keep going. Now, that really is only a bad thing if you don't acknowledge it. If you try not to let it happen, just go with it. Be aware of it, accept it. And then adopt the Dr. Seuss quote, which I love. And that quote is, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. So that's the first step, acknowledgement and acceptance. The second step then is very important. Take the time, doesn't matter if you're back in a really busy life, but take the time to sit down and process what you've just learned, what you've just been through. Go through your notes, highlight the parts that really resonate with you and decide which ones you're going to move forward with. The third step is to actually, after that processing, is to create your action plan. That action plan for the next 90 days of what things are you going to put into action that really connected with you for you to start realigning your business and your life. And the next step, step four, is to reconnect with the tribe. Now, you can do that on Facebook. Quite often, these events have a closed Facebook group that you'll be able to become a part of. But people that you met and really connected with, catch up with them on LinkedIn, connect with them on Facebook, phone them even, send them an email. Now, any way that you can to, to share that experience with people who've been through it with you so that you can move forward with those intentions. 
The fifth step that I recommend is to deepen the knowledge that you have. Now, I spoke about Lisa Nichols as being the, one of the speakers that really, really resonated with me. So from here, what I've done is I've ordered her book so I can delve more deeply into her work. I've subscribed to her YouTube channel so I can actually see her and soak up that feeling of power and inspiration that I felt when she was on the stage in front of me. So however you can deepen the knowledge that you picked up at an event is a great way to reinforce it. And the last thing, the last step that I highly recommend that you do is find your next event. Now, this was one of the first big ones that I'd been to, but I recognise that this level of you know, increased awareness of what really is possible when you make a decision to make things happen, I don't want to lose this. I'm looking for more of this. So yes, I've enacted those first five steps, but the sixth step, I've booked to go through to San Diego in May of next year to go to Lisa Nichols' three-day event because I too want to learn how to raise the roof at an event and really have an audience feel inspired. So those are my top tips. I'd love to hear from you now. Have you been to an event and you've come back and gone, how do I maintain this feeling? Have you had that sort of emotional hangover that it's not quite the same now that you're back in reality? Do you have any tips that you can share to help other people that have had that same experience? Really like to hear from you. Appreciate those thoughts and feedback and look forward to talking to you again soon.